Alright people, I have more Blu-rays and I actually have a lot today, so I've decided that I'm just not going to talk about the ones that I haven't seen until I've seen them. I just feel like that I don't even talk about the ones that I say I will, so I'm just going to leave those out until I've seen them, then I'll put them in the update. So the amount I've bought over the past few years is going to be cut down a bit, but I still have quite a few that I've seen that I can talk about. First, of course, being the funniest comedy of the year so far, and it's the funniest comedy since The Hangover to me. 21 Jump Street. This movie is hilarious. I completely love this movie and one of the reasons for that is not only for the chemistry between Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill, it's because of how self-aware the movie is. Like like in that scene where they're talking to like the commissioner, not uh, Ice Cube, but the other guy before they go to Jump Street. That whole scene was just full of self-aware humor that just made me laugh out loud. And I watched it as soon as I got it. I still love it. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it, so go check out 21 Jump Street if you haven't. Next up is my second favorite movie in this whole franchise. It came out just today, so I decided to go out and get it. American Reunion. I think this movie is better than 2 and 3, because 2 I own and it's very funny, and 3, it's okay, but it's kind of hit or miss to me, and I don't think I'm ever going to own it. So that one, it's alright, but I really do enjoy this movie. The first one's still the best, but I really do like this, because it brings back all the characters from the first one. Because there are some that they took out in two, and then a lot of them fell out in three. So seeing them all together, it's really cool. It was really funny to me. I still love this movie. It's very funny, and I love Sean William Scott in these movies. His Stifler, it's great. He's the funniest character in all these movies to me. I know a lot of people love Jim's dad, and so do I. But <laughs> Stifler is just hilarious to me. Next up are a group of movies. I've only seen the first one, but I'm just gonna pull up the other two, even though that's breaking my rule already. I'm dumb, but whatever. <laughs> the first one is Blade, and I got Blades 2 and 3. Blade 2 only came out today as well. The first Blade I watched a few weeks ago, I loved it. Wesley Snipes was awesome in it, even though he's kind of a one-liner machine. This is what a vampire movie should be, not Twilight. Twilight has ruined things. Like, Fright Night last year was fantastic, but Twilight has ruined most vampire movies, and this is really what a vampire movie should be. It's just, it's awesome. You got a really badass villain to go along with it. You got a badass main character. It's a great fun time. Blade 2, I've heard it's better than the first one, so I'm gonna watch that very soon. Blade Trinity, I decided to go out and get anyway, because I like Ryan Reynolds right there. So, I've heard terrible things about it, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. Speaking of Ryan Reynolds, I went out and I got The Change Up. Last year, The Change Up was the funniest movie of the year for me, and I, I hadn't gotten it, because it just, it didn't fall down in price, and it was just a lot of money to me. I'm cheap. I still love this movie. It's really hilarious to me to watch these guys switch roles, and this movie could have failed if it just felt like that they were playing each other's character, but to me, they really did feel like the actual, like, character, like, Ryan Reynolds actually felt like Jason Bateman, Jason Bateman like, actually felt like Ryan Reynolds instead of them just playing each other, so that was the main reason I really enjoyed this movie. Next up is the movie that when it came out last year, it came out the same week as Cowboys and Aliens, and I also didn't like this movie all that much, but I watched it the other day, and I just, I, I, I saw something in it that I didn't see when I saw it back in July of last year. So I went out and I got Crazy Stupid Love. I I don't know what it is, but I loved this movie the second time around. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood for it last July because it was just in the middle of summer and I just didn't completely get it. This would be People Like Us for 2011 because I loved People Like Us and it was a gem. It was a different movie in the summer and this movie was fantastic. All the performances make the movie. Every single person in this movie is fantastic throughout. That's really why I love this movie. It's funny, it's witty, the dramatic parts are handled very well. And this is by far Steve Carell's best performance, because I don't hugely like him, but I think he's a good actor after seeing this again. It's fantastic. Ryan Gosling is awesome. <laughs> Next up is another one of my favorite movies of the whole year so far. I think it's underrated. Uh, not many people have seen this, so if you haven't seen this movie, I highly suggest you go out and see it. It's a fantastic movie. It has some of the best cinematography I've ever seen. The Hunter with Willem Dafoe, it's great. The movie, it's it's mostly a drama, and it's kind of artsy, and for some reason I don't like art house movies, but this is just one of those art house movies that I really got into. And that's mainly because as soon as he got out into Tasmania, the cinematography kicked in. There's this one panoramic shot around him while he's walking in this huge, huge field. It's just fantastic, and all of this movie was filmed on location, so that's just more impressive to me that it's just all real and not green screen. It was amazing to watch. I love this movie. The ending is really powerful. I loved it. 
highly suggest this movie. Look at that, I'm breaking my rule twice in one video. I went out and I got the Lord of the Rings set. Now look, I have not seen these movies, but I realize that I'm never ever going to watch them unless I own them and can watch them on my own time. Because when they're on TV and there's commercials, I will get bored. I will not watch a three hour movie with commercials. I will never do that. And whenever they're on HBO or anywhere like that. I always come in like two hours in, so I'm not going to do that. I went out and I got the extended editions. The really, the only reason I bought these was because they were half off, so I just went with it. I'll try and watch these movies within a month, so hopefully I'll be able to get back to you on that. Motherfucker. Come on, you... Get in there! Jesus Christ! God. Damn. Next movie I bought is a movie that not a lot of people seem to like from what I can see. It got good ratings when it came out, but for some reason I've heard a lot of grumblings. So I got out and got the other guys. I really enjoyed this movie because of the chemistry between Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Because they have such contrasting personalities. Like, Will Ferrell's a nice guy, and he, for some reason, gets women that are unbelievably hot for no reason. And Mark Wahlberg's just an angry guy, and he's just... He's alone. <laughs> Those two contrasting personalities just made the movie much more fun for me. The, it's written pretty well. The ending to me is pretty weak. It just becomes what it was parodying, but I enjoyed it. Next up is a movie from my favorite director that I can't believe I hadn't had before. I got Seven on Blu-ray. Look, this movie is a fantastic movie. I will say that. Brad Pitt's performance was great, especially for early on in his career. Morgan Freeman's always awesome. David Fincher's direction is great. Kevin Spacey is creepy as hell. My one problem, my one problem is the last couple minutes of the movie where Brad Pitt has to do this acting involving Kevin Spacey and the box. Everyone knows that line, but the way Brad Pitt acted in that scene, it's early on in his career, so I can mostly forgive him for that. It just, it's so, it seems so stiff to me because he just goes like in the motions like, ah, God, oh, God. It seems really stiff and unreal to me, so that's why I don't particularly like the climax of the movie. What it stands for, sure, but the actual acting is kind of poor to me. Other than that, I love this movie. I really do recommend going to get it. Last movie I have today is a movie that no one really likes for some reason. I consider it better than the first one, but a lot of people seem to just completely despise this movie. I don't know why, but you know what? I really liked Wrath of the Titans. I thought it was a really fun action movie. Sam Worthington did really well here. He has improved in his acting over the past two years. I actually went out and got the steelbook for this. I love steelbooks. Any movie that I really like, I'll go out and get the steelbook for. The CGI in the movie is some of the best I've ever seen. It's just really realistic looking, not like the actual fighting, but the CGI looks real to the environment. Sam Worthington's goodness. Liam Neeson, Ralph Fiennes, they are awesome in this movie. The action is just handled really well. It has more action than the first one, so I really enjoyed this movie just as a turn your mind off action movie. I was watching this movie after I bought it and then my brother and my dad came in the room and they were just sitting there the whole time just nitpicking like, oh yeah, that's realistic. It's like, it's a movie about a son of a god trying to save his father, who is a god, from a gigantic lava creature. Are you really going to nitpick about the realism of this movie? I mean, it's unbelievable. Those are the Blu-rays that I've seen that I bought over the past few weeks. Uh, the ones I haven't seen, I'm going to watch very soon. I'll get back to you in the next video. What do you guys think of these purchases? How do you feel about Wrath of the Titans? What's your favorite American Pie movie? Write a beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button up there, because if you don't... Um... I really didn't have anything planned, so... There. You happy?